I'm gonna hit record. Dun, 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 dun. What we now see are the 18 separate channels in this one file, in this one track. We see these one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. going to one, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, it is 6.03 and I've been up since four o'clock and I just decided since I'm up at four o'clock, I might as well learn something. And so I learned how to use Reaper to record the multi-channel output of an Electron Digitact. So an Electron Digitact is a drum machine which has eight separate tracks of drums going on or up to, or allows us to use up to eight separate tracks of drums. And that means that we're able to record those eight separate tracks through the use of Electron's Overbridge 2 plugin. So you need to make sure that if you're going to do this tutorial that you have that installed, because that is the only software requirement other than Reaper itself. Um, and you will have to make sure that the Digitact is connected via USB. Okay, so we're going to start from square one with this. We're just going to create ourselves a new track. We're going to go into our effects. We're going to go and find our Digitact, which is going to be, so the Overbridge plugin shows up as Digitact, which always confuses me a touch. And now we're going to go into the top right where it says two slash 20 out. And this is going to give us the plugin pin connector. So the way that this works is that we can see we have the main left and right. So that's that kind of amalgam of all of the tracks. And then we have the stereo outputs for each of those drum tracks of which, as I said, there are eight. And we can just add more output and, and sorry, and on the right hand side, they will be sent to tracks one and two or parts one and two in the, and the output thing that we're going to be recording. So if we create more outputs, all the way down to here. We'll now be recording main left will go to part one, main right will go to part two, all the way down to part 18 or channel and so, yeah, sorry, I should have said channel really, channel one, channel two, all the way down to channel 18 of our multi-channel output file. And that is all that we need to do on that particular page. And that is all that we need to do in this plugin. So we're gonna close that now. And now what we're going to do is a couple of really nifty things. We're first of all going to disable any input because we're actually not going to need the input from here because what we're instead going to use is right clicking on the uh, record button is that we're going to go to record output to output multi-channel. And that will then uh, tell Reaper to listen out for multi-channel input from its plugins rather than from like um, any other recording sources. So now we can arm our track and we can hit record. And we have a stupidly fast track because I forgot to change the BPM of my project and I'm currently using Reaper as the clock. So that's really good. But also I figure I'll leave that in so that anyone who's having weird issues might also remember to do that because I just did not. So now we've changed that to 56. Um, it's also actually in three, four time, but that's by the by. We'll just change that there as well. And uh, we'll just call it demo project. And I'm gonna hit record. Dun, 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 dun. Fabulous. And there we go. Okay. So now what we're left with is this huge file. And I think the best way for me to show this is if I go get that dig attack plugin once more. And if I load up the plugin connector, because what we now see are the 18 separate channels in this one file, in this one track. And so that's going, we see one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, going to one, two, three, four, five, six. And we see that channels one and two are the main. So that's just the amalgamation of all of the parts of all of the tracks, I should say, sorry. And then we have the separate track one, uh, sorry, left and right of track one, left and right of track two, going down in pairs of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down to 17, 18. And then that comes out as this. Dun, dun, 
Mm. Oh yeah, and we also got to make sure that once we've are comfortable with everything, that we're going to disable the dig attack plugin because we no longer need the plugin input. We actually already have the audio file, so you can hear that weird phasing, and we don't want that. Dun, 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 there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. Now, interestingly, what we're actually hearing right now is that is just track uh, channels one and two. That's just how channels in Reaper work. But what we can do is we can right click on them, go to item item settings at the top, and we go down and we can go into take channel mode. And this lets us actually choose what channels we're going to be hearing. So if I want to hear the output of track one which is, you might remember, with channels three and four, he says using his fingers correctly. Then we go to stereo three and four, and we are left with that. Dun, 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 dun. So those are the only parts that we hear. And if I go into item settings again, and if I pick another pair, like five and six, which would be the next track. Did. Etc. Etc. So in total, I can actually show you what that would sound like. You know, using that master version, fits together like this. Dun, 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 etc. And so you know, if you want to then actually get each of those tracks separately, the easiest way is just going to be to not to do that. So just duplicate your parts. And then just to go to item settings and to pick your uh, the channel things that you want. I believe I'm only using actually four tracks worth of drums. So I'm only going to be needing four tracks worth of output. But if you were using all eight drum tracks, then you would want obviously to have all eight actual um, like Reaper tracks. Uh, let's just, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to do this. And we're going to go to... Yeah, it's seven and eight. Sorry, just having a uh, six o'clock in the morning moment. And then stereo for there. And that's going to be at nine and ten. Okay, and then we've got our full track at the top, which to be fair, we can just like mute and that's fine. And we then have this. Dun, 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 dun. And if we actually loop this section, so two seconds, let's just cut this and then let's just set that and we're going to loop it and then we're going to go back to there so that's now going to be looping it means that if we had an uh, a, a you know if we recorded all of our bits dun, dun, and then we just wanted dun. to mute them du, 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 du. You know, and like, so for example, in your song, you might want to have like a really, really slow fade in on that one part. You know, etc. And it just allows you to access the uh, channels of the dig attack in, uh, in just a way which is going to be more... Um, more useful for processing and everything because now they're just effects i'm pretty sure like these are obviously then just the the multi-track multi-channel audio files and you can then just render them to make them into just a normal stereo file um i've personally got that set to r so if i just render that output i then just get the stereo file so this file is now just the um yeah the stereo output this is not the uh, the multi-channel but the rest of them are so i mean but i don't think there's any real issue with just leaving them as mo as multi-channel and just looking at the channels that you need um if there are any performance issues then do let me know but i'm pretty sure you can just go with that or you can edit it as you wish the point is that it's the most flexible way to approach the entire process so yeah so um i hope that's been of use to at least someone uh, there are quite a few forum posts about it and uh, so i'll put links in the description so thank you a great deal to the people on the Electronauts forum uh, to a particular Reaper blog quick tips video talking through how to deal with multi-channel um, videos and then there's a Kenny Joya Reaper mania video about uh, recording um, 
uh, outputs of you know, multi output of channels and stuff like that. Uh, I think it was really interesting is finding out about the sort of like right clicking on the record button and everything else that's involved in that. So uh, <laughs> I will now potentially try and go back to sleep or something like that. But I hope that you have yourselves a great, great weekend, a great day, and I will see you soon. But do let me know what you think and if you've got anything else that you'd like to ask. Okay, take care.